I was in my second year scholar, I got set with uh, Austin's, Austin's boots. How, how have I gone from training in the park, yeah. yeah, the pre in the pre-season to now I'm at this hundred mil, hundred mil um, training a, ground. yeah, like training ground, and I, I'm seeing like Madison Vardy and that show. Obviously, the goal goes in, and we see him running towards. So we've just like Out ran seat, down down the steps. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. Welcome back to the Life of a Kitman podcast. This week's guest is obviously Jacob Wakelin, because here he is. Um, yeah, we're, as always, we're going to go straight into the five side team. So, Jacob, here's your board, there's your counters, here we go, there's your pen. We'll go formation first, names of the players, gap yep. first shirt, and then we'll talk about it a bit more. So, we go a one, one, two, one. In goal, I'm going to have uh, Josh Griffiths. I played with him at West Brom in the youth teams. Nice. And then centre-half, Nathan Ferguson, who's currently at Palace. And uh, I played with him at West Brom as well. Then midfield was a, a hard one. Tough one. Tough one. Um, played with a lot of great midfielders, but... I'm going to go Finn Azaz, who's uh, on loan at Plymouth and doing well there. And next one was tough as well, but I've got to go for Willow here. Of course you have. Yeah. It's got to be Willow. And then up top, obviously, the main man <laughs> is Austin. And yeah, that's my uh, five side team. Gaffer? Gaffer, I'm going to go with my non-league gaffer from Alf Church, Ian Long. Perfect. And then the kit that your team would wear? Uh, of all the kits you've played in? It's a tough one playing a lot of nice kits, but I have to go away kit, Leicester from last season. Like a sky blue? Green yeah, inside. yeah. It was one of them kits and yeah, it was such a nice kit to yeah, play in. a nice pattern on it as well. Yeah, we've seen it. Decent. So, finger, uh, is it Finn Griffiths? Is that right? Josh Griffiths. Josh Griffiths, sorry. Yeah, so he's currently getting a run in the games at West Brom. Unbelievable keeper. You know, shot stopping, passing. So he's, he's got just come through the first team, is it? Yeah, so he's been on a few loans. He yeah. was at Cheltenham the year they won League Two. Yeah. Been at Lincoln, Plymouth, and now he's currently getting a run of games at West Brom. And yeah. Doesn't surprise me, you know, he's got it all. England and 21, you know, played there as well. And I can see him go all the way to the top. England senior level, is yeah. that good? And then... Ferguson? Yeah, Nay no, Ferguson at West Brom as well. He's one of them, got it all. Yeah. You know, strength, pace, 1v1, can't get past him. Yeah. And he broke through the West Brom team, I think it was like three seasons ago. Yeah. And then... Got a move to Palace, and then unfortunately, I think the past couple of seasons is he's been injured. But I think he's getting back to full fitness now, and yeah. you know, hopefully he'll kick on now. Yeah. And then Azaz, a few people might be familiar with that name from last season. Yeah, I remember um, when he played for Newport. Was that no? Was that last year? Yeah. Yeah, he was so at Newport last year. I remember watching. I think they played Port Vale on TV, and he was a joke. And when we played them, I remember him as well. Yeah, so he is unbelievable on the ball, dictating the play, yeah. goals, assists, and he actually won Young Player of the Season last, last year for Newport as well, and he's kicking on at Plymouth now, they're doing well, yeah. you know, top of the league, I think, or top two. Good progression for him as well, to then go the league above. And yeah, and it's, you know, it's always nice seeing people, you know, yeah. he played with when he was younger. Helps that Plymouth well. are doing well as well. And the last two, we know everything. Yeah, about, yeah. <laughs> Willow, Austin, I don't think I have to talk too much. You know, their careers speak for themselves. Austin, with his goals and what he's done in the game. And What's Willow it like well. playing with them? Because obviously, you know, you and Willow play one in front of the other yeah. sometimes and then you've obviously got Charles as your target. I think it's very rare in League Two to play with them type of players. Mm -hmm. Austin, for what he's done in the game, and yeah. Willow. And Willow's so good, just... Mm -hmm 
on the ball, how he uses his body, and you, know, you can tell he's played at a very high level. Yeah. And you know, just the experience. Willow going to the likes of the World Cup, playing in the Euros, right, right. Austin, you know, scoring week in week out in the Premier League, yeah. and you know, that experience is you know so valuable to me. Yeah, it's good for young players like yourself coming through to be able to play with these players and learn stuff that they've learned previously. To play with these players is so good for you, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. You know, it's only going to make me a better player yeah. with the, like, the high level they played as yeah. well. And you actually come across Charlie before in your career, didn't you? Which we'll touch on a li little bit later. Yeah. <laughs> we'll touch on that in a bit. But um, let's, let's talk about your career and how your career started. So obviously from a young age, you, you were at West Brom. Um, what age did you join West Brom? I joined West Brom around, I think it was around under 14. Yeah. So before that, you know, just playing for your local team as you do. And, yeah. you know, you don't really think too much at that point. And then I think I was kind of a late one, really. Most people join the academies, you know, under 10s, 11s. Yeah. Not many people join, like, kind of like under 14s yeah. nowadays. And I kind of went in with the mindset of, you know, when they came in for me, just for a trial is just go get a good experience and yeah. if I get in great if I don't you know it is what it is got still got time yeah. sort of thing yeah and I went there on trial for like six weeks and then obviously they signed me and yeah. you know I had four I think it was four years there then my scholarship there and that's where uh, I started uh, cleaning Austin's boots <laughs> uh, which he still owes me uh, my money for <laughs> We've asked him about that. Yeah. He's adamant that he, that he thought the kit man was cleaning your boots. No. And that it wasn't you. So no. how does that come about? Because obviously we clean the lads' boots here now. And obviously this was a good few years ago now. And it sort of changed like with uh, the young lads' hours. They, can't, they don't have the time to wash the player's boots. So how did it come about that you washed his boots? Or did it, was it just random? Uh, no. So basically when we were scholars, yeah. um, you were set with load of jobs so that could be you're doing first team drinks so you're filling up you know the little crates with yeah, lucas yeah. aids waters then or you could be on first team equipment getting all the mannequins out or, so the, good. or you get do the goals 23s drinks 23s yeah. equipment list goes on fill up yeah. the fridges and everything and on top of that as well you get your own job and then yeah you get set with someone's boots and when i was in my second year scholar I got set with, uh, with Austin's, boots. Austin's boots. I actually did get a pair from the kit man. They actually did give me a pair of a, one of his boots. And um, yeah, it was good though. Um, obviously at the time, you moan about doing all the jobs mm. and everything as you do when you're a young yeah. lad. Thinking, when you look back on it. Yeah, now. like you, when you look back at it now, you think, you know, that was actually really good for me. Yeah. Because, you know, I imagine a lot of clubs now don't even do that at all. It's mm. kind of... You know, a lot of clubs are silver spoon the players, telling yeah. how great they are and they don't have to work for nothing. And it kind of just like humbled you a little bit at the time. But yeah. like you said, looking back on it, you know, it was good. But at the time, I'm moaning about it, thinking, what am I doing this? Like, it's, it's also good for to have a little bit of, like, to have a bit of interaction with the first team as well. So I don't know what it's like at West Brom, the training ground, but are you close to the first team when you were there? Um, so... Some training grounds. Yeah, it? so like the first when I did my first year scholar, it in the same place yeah. and everything like that. And then when I got to my second year, yeah. there's kind of a change at the club and that all changed. Yeah. We was all separate from them and yeah. everything. And I think the mindset behind that being separate was we've got to work ourselves up. And obviously I disagree with it. Being mm. around the first team, seeing how they go about off the, mm. off the pitch stuff is really good for yeah. young players to look up to. But I look back at my time at West Brom and yeah, I really enjoyed it. You know, the last year, not so much. And How was, old were you then in your last year? I would have been 18. Didn't yeah. really enjoy it as much as I should have. Yeah. Didn't really think I got treated that well. And then obviously COVID happened. Yeah. And then obviously not knowing what's going to happen. And then, you know, Ended up finding out and getting released. You, you, had getting a, a, you had a really good team at West Brom, didn't you, in the younger groups? Because I know you said it a couple of times. We obviously had Louis Barry here yeah. last year, who was at West Brom at the same time as you were, weren't you? And obviously you used to coach, didn't you, Steve? 
<laughs> and t- no, so you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm not, mate. <laughs> I know we usually banter you about that, but this is but like yeah, just we, bringing it. So the same yeah. age group was like the age group that I was working with. Yeah. And we used to play against their team all the time at West Brom. Yeah, so and they were Bristol always City, good, like, yeah. right the way through. Yeah, yeah very just, good academy. So many good players are. Uh, you know, came through there, like phew, likes of Morgan Rogers, who's doing well now, at yeah. Blackpool on loan from City, Finazaz, like yeah. just a list goes on how many good A lot players. of them have actually come through now, from, yeah. from your sort of age and doing really well. Yeah, but going back, like I said, um, COVID came, yeah. not knowing what's going to happen, and like everyone didn't know what was going to happen, yeah, yeah. and then found out I'm getting released, not getting a, a deal there on a, on a Zoom call. Oh. <sighs> Which was, you it's know, the worst one. After I know it, it, well, it's not it was tough to take me being 18 as yeah. well and everything, not knowing what's going on and get found out over yeah, there. Over oh, Zoom. thanks for all your efforts, but not giving you another deal. Kind on of. the flip side of that, we find out we've won the league on a Zoom call. <laughs> yeah. That was yeah. weird. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know. The whole period <laughs> was weird. It so was, The whole thing was mad. You find out, you find that out over Zoom. So what, how, what's your head like then? So how, how did you deal with that and... And what was you? What were you thinking going forward in football? Yeah, I I didn't take it very well mm. at all. Like being locked away in your room and yeah. Yeah. whatnot. Like it's it's not great. And going forward, um, I think like things started to you know ease a bit with restrictions and clubs yeah. can go back train. And I'm seeing lads I know going back train, and I'm just stuck in my room like yeah. Like so, not yeah, motivated not to do anything. Everyone posting their pictures on Instagram and that. Yeah, and like, <laughs> and I'm there thinking like, like, I don't know what I'm doing. And then I wasn't really motivated to get back into football, and you know, I, I wasn't really bothered yeah. if I was going to get back into football. I was in that mindset where I just wasn't asked at all what what would happen to me. The situation like, didn't. Yeah, like my situation and it's everything. Such, such a different situation. So many players get told they're not going to be at the club anymore but the, your situation was so different where you, where Covid was did happen yeah. so that must have been a lot more difficult so obviously that happens when was it that Alf Church came about so is that how you sort of got back yes, into it yes yes and you know owe a lot to them yeah. as a club so how it happened was you know I'm just sitting sitting on my ass doing yeah. nothing you know, just playing, playing on the PlayStation. Yeah. And uh, I get a text from the chairman there, who I know very well. Um, I played with his son at West Brom and, and he rang me up and he was just like, come on, come down. Because he owns Alf Church, the club. Right. So he called me and was just like, come down to train. And I'm there like, I don't know, I'm not really, not really bothered, not really looking to get back into football. Mm. He was like, come on. Like, there's no pressure. If you like it, you like it, stay. If you don't, you don't yeah, have to turn yeah. up again. And uh, I think for the, and then the same week, I didn't go to the session he said. I was just like, I'm not bothered. And then his son was ringing me up saying, come on, just come to it. And I was just, I knew he was as well. I was like, oh, go on then. First session, absolutely loved it. Right. Loved it. I think the and pressure... Is that the gaffer that Yeah, chose so the, yeah, the gaffer there, Ian Long. I yeah. forgot to speak about him amazing guy and his assistant Richard Coldwell as well great guys yeah. like done so much for me you know just installing that belief in me like mm. when everything's down yeah, against you just always believe in yourself and yeah. the first the first you know manager to really you know believe in me and make me feel valued and everything like that and then goes a long way that. <clears throat> very long way and then ever since then I've just been you know, just been like that. Just been yeah. like that. Obviously, they've, they've had, such, they had a massive impact, really. Then at such a low point for you, yeah. for them to come and do that, you probably might not be here now. So exactly, exactly that, and uh, you know, owe them a lot, a lot of credit. And it doesn't surprise me that they got to the second round of yeah, the they FA, had that Cup. FA Cup yeah. run this year. Yeah, yeah, so they beat Cheltenham, and then they just missed out Forest Green. I think a penalty. Course, they lost two yeah. one. And that doesn't surprise me because yeah. he makes every, all the lads feel so together mm. as a group, and yeah. Yeah, he's such a such a good manager. And you know, such what a league great were club. they in then when you were there? Step three, so I think you got conference or national league, yeah. the main one. Then you yeah, got national league north and yeah. south, and you got the league Alf yeah, Church. Like, and 
Southern Premier or yeah, yeah, yeah. Or one of them. One so of them was it league. just that season that you stayed there? And then Leicester, how did Leicester come about then? Yeah, so going back to the Alf Church story yeah. now, went there, loved it, played there from I think August to October, I okay. think it was, and um, just there's this FA Cup game. And obviously the chair, the chairman's told me um, oh, a lot of clubs are coming to watch yeah. here because I'm yeah. d I'm doing well. I'm scoring a fair few. So you're goals. only there a couple of months. Yeah, you went. Yeah, there. I, I wasn't there for longer. No, time. no, and obviously in my head uh, I'm not. Oh, like, you know, decent. Yeah, because yeah. the chairman said to me before I signed, he was like, I promise you, Richard Thorndike. He said, I promise you, I'll get you full time football before Christmas. Right. And I just believed him straight away. That like, his words yeah. just that's, that's meant mad. like meant that much and then I was like yeah like I'll, I'll do it and then I remember before the FA Cup game we had Solly or Moores yeah I had a chance to sign there and he was telling me like go on sign there like full-time football be great for yeah. you of course. but in my head I'm doing that well I'm like, I can I can go better than that yeah. I can go better and um yeah played the FA Cup game had an absolute stinker <laughs> did you terrible game <laughs> absolute terrible I'm there like I'm not to the chairman after, well, why did you tell me? Why did you tell me? You shouldn't have told me and, and all of that. And then literally the day after, he rang me back up, say, oh, yeah, about five clubs after you, mate. And he said, I don't know how you managed it after how bad you played. I was like, yeah, I know. Like, I don't know how I managed it. And, like, and, then, I'd, and then I decided to uh, go to Leicester first. Yeah. And I went there. I was thinking Premier League club, you know. Course. Under twenty threes training grounds incredible as well. Well, this was, this was just, just before bit, they had yeah. So they're in the middle just before they finished the training yeah. ground. So yeah. and obviously I've came there and they're not doing so well in the league and whatnot and um, whatnot and whatnot. <laughs> There's a whatnot. There's a whatnot for us. <laughs> That's twice I've heard you say it. Now. Oh, not decent. as many as me, but <laughs> I get the whatnot count wrong. <laughs> um, where was where was I now? Sorry, mate. Uh, uh, Leicester obviously was oh yeah there. so yeah they weren't doing so well in the league went there on trial for a week first game one of the play our players got sent off against Man City yeah. you play Man City and they're like the top team mm. of course like yeah. they're the top team like yeah. and we lost like 4-0 and they just popped us absolutely yeah. popped us and then I'm there thinking oh well, that's a great first game Brilliant. and then um <laughs> We had Brighton away as well, and leading up to the game, like I was feeling like proper ill. Yeah. Like obviously, I don't know if it was COVID, and I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I, I shouldn't have. I yeah. should have probably said something. And I'm there, like so ill. I'm like in the hotel room. Like I remember going to the physio saying, like, "Oh, I need some paracetamol." I was like, "What for?" I was like, "Oh, I just got a stomach ache, mate." And I'm there. I'm just dying. I'm so ill. And then um, we had the Brighton away game, and then I ended up scoring two. Yeah. And then from there, signed for Leicester a couple of weeks after that. I reckon it was like three weeks after that. Yeah. Didn't hear nothing from them. And then they ended up sending a contract. And then had a really, really good season, you know, um, yeah. up there. Unfortunately, you know, didn't get to train at that moment with the first team because of the old COVID bubbles. Yeah, course, yeah, but yeah. I think half a season, I ended up scoring like 13 goals or something like that and scored against Tranmere in the uh, Papa John's trophy, which was a, uh, which was a good experience course, play against yeah. like men. And That's everything. where that competition yeah. really helps because yeah. people like yourself get to play in those games mm. against yeah. you know, adult. Yeah, football, because there's two sides of it. Like football, right? I imagine a lot of clubs like in league two, the league ones like, oh, you God, like this, this, side this of it now, yeah, like it? this is, this is crap, like playing against kids. But then like when you're in the 23 is you're proper up yeah. for it. Like, yeah, of course. Yeah. Because yeah. you're like, oh, we're playing against first team, like yeah. men. Like, You've really seen it on the myself. flip side now, that yeah, like I've seen it from both sides, yeah. and yeah. but I've seen like in that cup though, a lot of teams take it serious towards the back end of it. Yeah, yeah. of course. Like, obviously, yeah. like the uh, Plymouth and Bolton. Yeah. But yeah, really good first season there, like half a season anyway. Well, yeah. that year in ge that season in general yeah. was really, was really good, yeah. good. Like yeah. learned a ton in the dressing room at Alf Church, yeah. going from youth football to men, to being men's. around my own age, comfortable, yeah. to being around men. So yeah, even, it, even though it was just a couple of months that you were playing men's football, to then go back into the like youth setup, that couple of months must have been important for you, really. Yeah, it was. Because a lot of the players yeah. that, at Leicester that you would have joined wouldn't have had that. No, massively, and that's where like 
had my experience early before any of them yeah, being in a, like a men's dressing room and getting the bollocking from you know the gaffer yeah. and and all of that and then um yeah I had a really good first season there and then second season in the pre-season you know I enjoyed the pre-season there trying for the first team yeah. uh, a what few times like? yeah it was it was mad like in my head I'm thinking how, how have I gone from training in the park <laughs> yeah, yeah. The pre in the pre season to now I'm at this hundred mil, hundred mil um, facility. training ground. Yeah, like training ground, and like, I'm seeing like Madison Vardy and Nacho, <laughs> Schmeichel and Man, and I'm there like one I'd, year. Yeah, like I pinch myself like oh my <laughs> god, like one year this is this is yeah. crazy. Yeah, twelve months down the line. And then yeah, so training with them, even speaking to Brendan Rogers was just mad. Like yeah, of course. I remember this one time like. His man management was just unbelievable. I went up there, I'm having a stinker of a session, and then he just pulled me and just said, listen, like, ignore all these pros, you know, I've seen you play, um, you're a good player, you're a great first touch, work hard, great finisher. He went, show me, show me what you can do, show all of these what you can do. Then the next part of the session came, and yeah, just my confidence was sky high, and I had a really good end of the session. And yeah. That's what the top managers do for you in the yeah. Premier League and you know, just made my confidence sky high and then pre season finished and um season started, got off well. But before that I did actually have a chance to sign here but Did you? Ne- yeah. So I could have oh, so that, that was an opportunity yeah, to start about, last season. I was just about to yeah, say then, was, yeah. was there any like so not talk of a loan move? So or? it was last season the start of last season yeah, yeah. so in the pre-season there was interest right. from swindon and I so i assume that was on a, on a loan yeah that was like after garner had come in and we had yes we started so, so yeah some stuff together yeah, yeah. so yeah. it was when garner came in i think it was back end or middle of the window i'm not sure when he came okay, in cool. probably towards the end yeah because we didn't we literally, yeah, we only we had, literally two weeks. had yeah we literally <laughs> yeah. had six players for the yeah. whole of pre-season then we had uh, two weeks before our first game, so I'd imagine it was when the takeover happened. And yeah, um, had a well, I wanted to sa- sign here. The, I think the club wanted to bring me on loan, and but unfortunately, uh, Leicester said no at the time. Which you know, everything happens for a reason. Cause Cause now, now I'm here. Because you're in. Now. I'm here now. Yeah. Was there any other options like loan moves, or did they did they want you to go out on loan? Um, not not really, no, and. You know, obviously I weren't happy. I felt like I was at a stage where... You needed to go out and play. I needed to go out yeah. and experience men's yeah. football. And, you know, I wasn't getting a, a lot of games because of disagreements and yeah. all yeah, of, of that as yeah. Well, yeah. Um, manager happens and in people football. People yeah. and that's... Yeah. And then... That's so you had that pre... From that pre-season through to January, you were there. And then the yeah. Barrow loan move come around. Is that right? Yeah, so that was January. Yeah. And... Barrett, I didn't have many options, didn't play many games. What's going on outside? Yeah, we got, I think there's a, like an Easter kids. <laughs> there's all tent, kinds of so stuff going on <laughs> above us. All I can hear is feet. The I'm stand is literally just above elephant. us. So I think there's loads of kids running up. I don't know why they're <laughs> in this good. stand, but if anyone can hear anything, that's Yeah, what if it anyone is. hears it, that's what it is. <laughs> um, yeah, so going back to it, Barrow, January, didn't have many options because I haven't played many games. Yeah. And yeah, I didn't, I didn't play many games so. leading up to that as well yeah. in uh, yeah. Premier League uh, too. So went there, you know, didn't really bother me the drive because they trained in Manchester anyway. So it was relatively. Yeah, easy, I just right? I just went there hopefully to get some game time and you know yeah. the experience and fortunately I didn't get the game time I would have liked, yeah, but you know it was a valuable experience for me and you know didn't work out, but. No, but Grateful, for, back, grateful yeah. for the experience and yeah. uh, you know, learned Something a lot to there. Learn from, isn't yeah, it? definitely first first real taste. Did you meet Hutz there? Yes. Yes, yeah. <laughs> yeah, did yeah, meet Hutz so. uh, and um first real taste of like football league. Football, football league yeah, and yeah. you know, professional being professional men's, side yeah. of it, like being around everything mm. and obviously they didn't have a great season. I think they finished just above the relegation zone. Yeah. Mm. And then that loan finished, and then it was back to Leicester. They told me, um, you know, we're not giving you another contract, which, you know, I wasn't disappointed about at it's all Leicester. because, right. because 
I felt like I was at a point where I was ready to move on and of try get, something. Yeah, yeah, I needed to get I needed to get games under my belt and you know sign for a football league team and yeah. So Leicester was a great experience being a you know looking at Vardy who I look up to a lot. Of course, you know play yeah. I play a lot like him. Train with him. Yeah, train with him and you know top players there. Good experience for me and yeah. you know I thought yeah I need to move on now and. and they agreed as well, so they was like, yeah, we're not going to give you another contract. And then yeah. he was back to having no club. And mm. right and then Swindon came about and, you know, first opportunity I could, it was straight, let's train yeah, here. It's probably let's better sign. than staying at Leicester for someone like yourself. Yeah. Rather than being on, on loan for another year, to come here and actually sign and you can sort of settle down. Yeah. Like, and actually have like somewhere that's a home and just grow but you're actually playing football that's exactly what i needed i needed somewhere to settle down in an environment and you know just play football i wanted to play football i think i only played my last game for barrow was february yeah four four games there i was just like i need to go play football i'm coming up to an age now i'm turning 21 i need to get games and you had you had a whole pre-season to get to know the lads get to know the club and how it works here yeah. rather than coming in on loan towards the end of a window and then just going straight into it. So it was nice to set, you had a bit of time to settle in. Exactly, and um, I just needed to develop mm. here. You know, I'm, you know, it's been a good season for me mm. so far. Well, have you played 39 games this season? Is it yeah, for, 39, 40 yeah. games maybe. And, you know, every game, you know, I'm learning. And, you know, long may it continue. Yeah. yeah. Not many people at your age that have, would, would have played that many games in a season. I know that's not where, many at all. A lot of these where, players would probably you know, still be at like a Leicester or a club around that size. So yeah, great. Ended up being a blessing in disguise for you. Yeah, hundred percent to play that many games yeah. and you know touch wood. Yeah, not get not get injured so far and yeah. you know hopefully I can play the rest of the games till the end of the season now and yeah. you know it'll be Keep successful for me. So talking about this season, obviously congratulations because you've just been named. You've just been nominated for one of the Young Player of the Year, along with two others from this league. So, to have that in your first um, professional season's unbelievable. You've got seven goals and five assists. That's right, as well. Yeah. How did you find out that you had been nominated? What happened there? How does that work? um, You don't read it on Twitter. No. So I got a phone call from someone at the club, and just to let me know. you know, you've been nominated, just congratulations. How'd that feel? Yeah, what, what yeah, was going through your head when you got told that? Yeah, it was... Did you expect it? Uh, no, you know, I didn't expect it. And obviously, at the start of the season, my main aim was to play games. Yeah. yeah. Like, nothing about awards or anything like that. So, when I, when I you know, when it sunk in, I was like... like it's decent. Yeah, like yeah. being nominated uh, for Young Player of you the Season. You just take stock and you just go, yeah... yeah done all right, I know. Yeah, looking back, I mean? like I said, I'm yeah. looking Especially back again note. from yeah. last season to this season, yeah. you know. Progression. Yeah. Strides and forward, isn't it? Played four games last season and then now I'm getting nominated games. for young yeah. player of the season, yeah. being told I'm not good enough or experienced you've had a lot enough. Of, you've had a lot of knockbacks and mm. by having those knockbacks, you've actually progressed every year. Yeah. It's not, is, it's not the only thing you've had this year though either, is it? Because at one stage, and I don't know if it still is, <laughs> but at one stage, you had the most goal contributions of anyone under 21, did yeah. you not? Yeah, I think, I, uh, I think I fell off a bit in them numbers. Like you got five, like goal, five assists and seven goals, which is for your first season. That's yeah. incredible. To be fair, when the season started and we've seen you like pre-season and stuff, we're both going, I reckon he's got 10 goals in him. Yeah. yeah. Like if he plays and he keeps going... And he, you know, gets a good run of games. He can get a sort of ten yeah. goals. Yeah. So to have, you know, five goals and seven assists at this point is. And you've really played in a lot of various positions as well. I know, which is something I've never done before. Yeah. You know, I've always played down the middle in a one, in a two, yeah. and you know, this season I'm playing left wing, right wing mm. next game, wing back recently. Yeah. And yeah. It's just you scored for an error, Orient. I know. I know. But. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good experience learning different positions yeah. and everything. It's part of my first season yes. and it's only going to make me a better player even if, you know, the goals and the assists are, you know, not there. I'm playing games which I'm I'm happy about. Mm. Yeah. There was there's, there's two goals I want to talk about. Yeah. The first one <laughs> Salford away. You meant it, yeah? 
Hundred percent. Hundred percent. If we went outside on the pitch now, you could just recreate it. Okay? Oh no, no. If you if you gave me like a hundred hundred <laughs> footballs to do it again, I don't think I'll be able to but do one. Unbelievable goal, and it wins goal. Well, that's of the just month. instinct, isn't it? Like, yeah. But I just saw Hut putting a. He wanted a shout out as well. <laughs> there you go. There you go, Hutz. That's a shout out to you now, Hutz. <laughs> um, so yeah, he put in the cross, and I'm I'm running in the box, and I'm I've seen it's a bit behind me, and then. I just think I'm just going to stick my, my right leg out at yeah. this and, you know, try and pull it towards goal. And then I'm turning as I'm doing mm. it. And then I've looked back and I'm like, it's in, the, it's in the bottom corner. The best bit is when he wins his goal of the month award, he's got his little award, like the physical award. He's just running around there going, does anyone <laughs> want, to t- want to take a picture? And I yeah. thought he was going to bring it with him, to be fair. But he's, he's no, he's not brought it with him. <laughs> but... <laughs> Unbelievable for you. The other goal, Sutton at home. Oh, yeah. So you score at Sutton yes. at home, and yeah. then you run towards us. We were, yeah. What um, was the score? Because we were... We were it, was three, two, it was 3-2 the game. It was 2-2 we two, two at the time, yeah. and it was... And then we won 3-2. Yeah. And you and run was like, over to one, us, like and the then the there's all the pictures, isn't there? Yeah. Of all of us celebrating together. Because we sit just behind the away dugout, because there's not enough room in the home dugout, so we sit in the stand just behind the away dugout. Obviously, the goal goes in. And we see him running towards. So we've just like Out ran seat, down. Down the steps. <laughs> come on! He's literally just come towards <laughs> Yeah, I remember the, obviously Froze put the uh, cross in. Yeah. And, uh, I've headed it. It's went in and you know, I don't know what to do. I'm, <laughs> I'm just running. I've never scored a 90th minute um, you know, winner goal yeah. before. And I've just seen you two running down. I thought, I'm just going to run to. I'm going to run towards him. I'm going to run towards him. There's some good pictures from that, to be fair. Oh, really good. Talking stuff. about like your goals then. What's your favourite goal you scored this season? Um, you scored some important ones. Obviously, that one, the Doncaster one, where we won one 0 I think my favourite one is the best one. It's obviously the Salford one. Yeah. But my yeah. favourite goal is the Sutton one. The Sutton one. Mm. Just purely because it was a last-minute winner. You know, the stadium yeah. and yeah. everything. That feeling, uh, like you can't beat that feeling. The first one was Carlisle, wasn't it? Yeah. That yeah. Was that that was my first my first, first goal. Professional goal, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, I've scored under Papa John, but I don't think that counts. No, as professional. <laughs> Papa John's doesn't count. It's your first league goal. It's your yeah, first, first league goal. goal. That's what matters. But yeah, Sutton favourite one, just purely just that feeling. Quite, yeah. Yeah. You can't like score an unbelievable fit. Another feeling. game that really needs to mention as well is Mansfield away. Oh yeah. Because you didn't score, but how many yeah. assists did you get? Like two, two or three. Oh, I, I, I'm going to claim three. You're going to claim three. <laughs> I'm going to claim three off uh, Willow's goal. Little <laughs> keeper went through. Right. No. Had a shot. Brilliant, brilliant. So, is it time for the quiz? Yep, I think it's time for the quiz. I'm quiz master this week. So here, it's, here we go. go. You're going to win. Uh, you're going to win this time. We've not won I, yet. I am not great. Um, what, so uh, what one's this? Who have we had? Well, done, if I was against Jonah, I reckon. We've done I've four been. so far. Yeah, we've done four and we've not... I think I've, we're 4-0 down. Yeah, we are 4-0 down. So, am I going to be the one that pulls it back around this for the huge. To this is huge. This is huge. This will be a statement if I get this. So, obviously, most of the quizzes we've done have all been swindling questions. Yeah. But this is a little bit of a mixture. Um, so, we've got... F- I think there's three swindling questions and the rest are just football. Like, football I league I feel questions. like he's stitching me up because no, he knows I, if it was a swindling one, I'd have beaten you. I just wanted to be a bit fair because obviously you've only been here for a year, so there's only so many questions from this. Se- so is I mean? it from this season or? Yeah, the of... questions. Oh yeah, obviously the questions yeah. that are Swindon related are from. How do we answer? Shout so, your name yeah, out. just shout your name. Um, hand up. But just don't, put your hand up. Don't say, up your name and don't you say anything. Like Johnny usually does. <laughs> um, <laughs> shout your name out. Whoever shouts first gets to answer. Right. If you get it wrong, how many? How many uh, seven, questions? seven questions. The seven ones, the bonus one. But we okay. just do it anyway. We'll do it anyway. Um, so obviously. Yeah, so we'll go question one. Good place to start. Yeah, cheers, Steve. Um, <laughs> Tyree Shade recently got called up for his national country. But what national team was it? Wake it. St. Kitts. Yeah. <laughs> is it not St. Kitts and something? And ne- Is it Nevis? Oh, it is. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give Wakey that because... Yeah, it's St. Kitts and Nevis. It's like... It's St. Keats and Nevis, but he should be quicker there. Yeah. Because oh, I knew it as well. All Question right. two. What two players have appeared the most for Swindon this year? Wake it. Um, Sol 
Yeah. And myself. No. Oh. Okay. So. Oh. Huts. No. Oh, hang on. Oh, it's going to be Willow then. No. No? no. So is it back to me? Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, you've got soul. That is one of them. I was drunk. And he is the most. Um, you've both said soul, so. Do you know it? I'm trying to think who it is. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. It's me, surely, isn't it? No, it's not. Well, no, how, many, how many games have they played? 40 in they all played, comps. And what have you played? 39? I've played 39. One He's more paid one way. more. To be fair, when I was looked this up yesterday, because I did think it was might have been you, which you is why like, I was gonna. What? It's just why I was gonna put it as one of the questions. It's not Fraser. But no, it's not. A lot of these, they wouldn't have all been starts. Obviously, quite a lot of them, I think, probably were sub appearances. I don't think. Uh, is it? I knew he'd played a lot of games, but I was quite surprised myself. Is it? It's not Darcy because. Is it Darcy? <laughs> is that is that your answer? Yeah. Yes, Darcy. Well, you told him it was with your I, face. <laughs> <laughs> surely, that, face. surely that's wrong, though. Because he, didn't he miss a game Sol's played from last week? In all comps, Sol's played 42 and Ronan's played 40. Oh, we're not counting... All comps. All comps. We're oh, thinking oh, league. I'm thinking no, league. <laughs> yeah, but it's gone all comps. Most games for Swindon this year. Because obviously all of Sol's haven't you been have in the said, league, have they? Yeah, all we've not played 42. Oh. Well, all right. Oh, next question. Right. Uh, question three. What is the score? 2 0. Wakey gets that one, does he? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't is. think. I don't, there's a lot of. I'm in mean, an R in there. Anyway, name three current Swindon players that have played in the Scottish leagues. So there's three that have played in the Scottish Wakey. leagues. Oh. Yes. Um, I think Tommy. Yeah, yeah, that's the right one. Tommy. Um, Scottish leagues. Uh, I had two of them. I might have went blank. Oh. Um, Hoops. Yeah. Uh, Tommy. Soul. Oh, Soul. Mm. One more. Come on. Come on. One more. Come on. There's one more. Come on, Stevie. Ronan? Yep. Is it? Yep. Oh. Yes! <laughs> yes! 2 right. 1. So now, slightly going away from. Swindon. I should get three points for that, really. No, it's 2 1. Anyway, it's 2 1. First one to shout their name. Name me four teams in England's top four leagues with Rovers in their name. So Rovers is the. You're Oops, nervous. Four teams, yeah? Yeah. You're Blackburn Rovers, Doncaster Rovers, Bristol Rovers, Forest Green Rovers. Yeah. 2 2. That question's made for you. It is, isn't it? It's unfair on me. It is. Right. <laughs> Everyone else got Swindon questions and I've got yeah, football <laughs> league questions. I thought, right. Right now, question number five. Right now, who is top in all four English, English leagues? So who's top of the table in uh, all of the leagues? Wakey. Oh, no, I know this. Arsenal. Yeah. Oh, no. Burnley. I know this. Yeah. Uh, right, as in right, right now, now, as it stands. Chef Wednesday. Yeah. And Leighton Orient. Yeah. The league oh, back oh, and forth. I knew it, but, but it's so slow. I tried to catch you out with that one because obviously the league one one keeps changing because yeah. like it's Plymouth. Yeah. So I didn't. I thought like one of you might not get it. Score three, three two. two. I thought we were going to be in the lead for the first time ever. Then which team won the Premier League in two thousand and sixteen for the Oops. first time? Leicester. Yeah. Come on, Wakey. <laughs> I know it was <sighs> three three. Bonus question time. <laughs> what, is this, this is the last question? This is it. And, <laughs> and, this, three, three. and this is why the bonus question, why this is why there's seven questions. We haven't had to use it yet. No. <laughs> this is the first time we've ever had to use it. <laughs> win this. And this one's probably the easiest question out of them all. Oh, to be God. Fair. So you're going to have to be quick. You're going to have to be fast. I can't believe we've got to that. Um, is it, is it, is it, hard? Is it He's hard? spent all day trying to think of this question. Is it no, hard or is it easy? It's just an easy one. How easy is it there? <laughs> I don't know. We'll see oh, come on then. 
what team has the nickname the Blades? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Sheffield United! <laughs> Nassau <laughs> win! <I didn't>... Yes! <laughs> yes! Oh, God. Well done, Mikey. Well played. Yes, no. What? Yeah, all right. Well, yeah, we're, we're a won. team and we've won a game. So I don't know what I just did there. I just went. <laughs> <laughs> we've won. I didn't, to be honest. I can't I believe it. To be honest, it's like, not free. I Matt's celebrating behind the camera. I didn't think it was oh, actually going to get to that point on the bonus question. I probably should have thought of like a more. Well, let's change. Why? To we've be won. fair, this, yeah. is, this, this is unfair because. Why is it unfair? Every, every time I've listened to the pod. Yeah. Which is every time. Every time. <laughs> Love it, you. I've listened to the. He's always sending texts. Yeah, you know, the now. quiz. It's all Swindon. It's and all then, Swindon. I, then I'm the only one. Like You've got the most chance winning against me. And then I'm getting football league questions. You played for Leicester. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm waiting. Oh. Yeah, but, yeah, but I, uh, <laughs> like, you, I thought, I thought oh, I'll help him out by putting a Leicester one in there because Steve should know that as well. And I thought, oh, it'd be... You should have made the bonus right. one harder. That's 4-1 on quizzes now, isn't it? That's so yeah. easy. Four. The blade. You could have chose such a like, harder one. So you really could have done. Yeah. But you didn't, and we won. So, brilliant. Let's, I just wanted us to win, to be honest. We're the champions. I was joking. 4-1. <laughs> We've actually won a quiz. I'm so excited for this. So, I You're think... Not hard to uh, win against me now. To be fair, mate, You've done all right. It's four three. It's yeah. not like yeah, I'm, first, see, I'm, first see, quiz, I'm seeing I've everyone beat you like nil, seven he's, seven he's nil seven one. one, and everything. And then bad sorry, performance. Sorry, me. Wakey. I, bad performance. Sorry, mate. I feel really bad now for winning. Rubbish bonus question. Rubbish bonus. <laughs> Rubbish. <mate. It's> Jonas' <laughs> fault. Blame Jonah. <laughs> um, I think that about wraps us up. To be honest, uh, you enjoyed it. Yeah, really enjoyed yeah, it. Yeah, it's been fun. We had a good Pleasure. chat. Um, we won the quiz. Brilliant. Um, who are we playing this weekend, Jonah? Wakey's old team. Wakey's old team. The, the Wakey Derby this weekend. The Wakey, oh. Wakey Derby. <laughs> I, I wouldn't really call it an old team. So. <laughs> <laughs> Only We're home to Barrow. Times. Tickets are still available. Come and support the lads. Yeah. Let's just, you know, get something going a bit. Let's get behind them, give them a bit of support. Um, and then what? We've got Bradford at home on the Tuesday night. Yeah, so is two, right? two in quick and so Stevenage and... No, that's, oh, that's a yeah, few more weeks on, but we've got Bradford on the Tuesday. Um, it means we've got two games really close, so there won't be another one of these before Bradford might do something, but maybe not. We'll have a talk about that. Um, yeah, other than that, go and follow us on all the socials, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Um, yeah, that's it. Watch the back catalogue. Yeah. Loads of other ones. We've got a new pictures up. Yeah. On the wall. Thanks for coming on, Wakey, and um, good luck on Sunday night at the um, at the awards. At the awards. Thank you very hopefully, much. Um, hopefully, you'll... next Sunday. Yeah. Yeah. Brilliant. Cheers, guys. Thank you, Cheers, guys. Thank you.